Hello and welcome to our channel. Now in this video, we will tell you how the cast of 1974's Happy Days has changed. I'll show you what they looked like back then in 1974 and now in 2022 how they've changed from being on this sitcom. Alright, let's go. Marion Ross in the sitcom she played Marion Cunningham, Howard Cunningham's wife, Richie and Joni's mother, and a traditional housewife. In 1974, she was 46 years old and now she's 94 years old. It did turn out to be his apartment. He says, how do you think you're going to get anywhere? I said, well, I'm really, really good actress. I'm 20. Ron Howard in this sitcom, he played Richie Cunningham, the main character for the first seven years of the series. In 1974, he was 20 years old, and now he's 68 years old. Good college to go to. Yeah, it was one of my more economical fights. Short and sweet, dig it? Purdue's a nice campus. Tree line. Why do they call themselves Boilermakers? Kind of logic that was so grounded yeah. and so authentic that I think it, it, it really just informed our approach to what we do in a, in, a, in a... Henry Winkler in the sitcom he played Arthur Fonzarelli, aka the Fonz of Fonzie. In 1974, he was 29 years old and now he's 76 years old that way you're talking me into things you know that how's he do it Fonz? Yeah, well how does he do it i mean he embarrasses me he makes he makes these speeches you know he just uh he shakes his head anson williams and me showed up in dallas and our uh car was on the other side of the twenty-five thousand people tom bosley in the sitcom he played howard cunningham husband of marion cunningham father of richie and johnny he is a motel member and family man. He was 47 years old in 1974 and it was with sadness that Bosley passed away from complications of a staph infection on October 19, 2010 at the age of 83. What I'm doing here. Well, I left the phone, uh, phone number with the airlines. You see, all the flights to Tahiti are booked up, so they're going to call me if there's a cancellation. Second series. She had two series in succession. One interrupted by her eye surgery, and then they changed the whole concept, which was a mistake, and did the second. Anson Williams in the sitcom he played Posse Weber, Richie's best friend and an aspiring talented singer. In 1974, he was 25 years old, and now he's 73 years old. Problems, guys, no problems. Big bucks. How'd you get that? Hot. The minute I said I wanted to go away, my mother started packing my suitcase and my dad said this into my hand. Boy, that's love, huh? Wow. And, um, like that's, and that's just the United States. Yeah. So, um, but Henry, um, was, he became the number one star in the world. Mm -hmm. In the world. Erin Moran in the sitcom she played Joni Cunningham, Richie's sister. She was 14 years old in 1974. And it was with great sadness that she passed away on April 22nd, 2017 at the age of 56. But I don't like being 15. It's weird, you know, I feel grown up, but nobody treats me like one. It hurts. I'm holding my hand and we're walking down the sidewalk and this little boy comes up to me and says, Can I have your autograph? And I looked up at my dad and went, What's that? Al Molinero, in the sitcom he played Al Del Vecchio. From seasons 4 to 9, Al became the new owner chef of the drive after Arnold got married last season. He was 55 years old in 1974, and it was with great sadness that Molinero died from complications of an infected gallbladder at a hospital in Glendale, California, on October 30, 2015 at the age of 96. <laughs> Yeah, they said they were going to come by, but, you know, maybe it got too late and they just went on home. Ah, good night. Twice the soft bridge. And you even get more sheets on a roll than with any leading two-ply brand. Don Most in the sitcom, he played Raph Malf. In the first season, Raph was just a supporting character with plots. By season two, Raph had become three amigos. In 1974, he was 21 years old and now he's 69 years old. Have you ever heard my Arthur Godfrey impression? No. Get ready. How are ya, how are ya, how are ya? <laughs> Thanks, Fonz. I... In the oven? Shh, quiet. I've seen that look on a woman before. Her name was Annette. 
I need sweet love. Linda Goodfriend in the sitcom she played Laurie Beth Allen, Richie's girlfriend and later his wife. In 1977, she was 24 years old and now she is 68 years old. Oh, how long have you been reading that way? Oh, years. I'm a member of the Book of the Day Club. <laughs> then uh, why were you always getting chewed out for not... And it, that summer I tried to learn to smoke and I dyed my hair red. Neither of them worked. <laughs> Uh, so nice and easy isn't nice and easy, um, but... Scott Bio in the sitcom he played Chachi Akola, Fonzie's cousin and later Al Del Vecchio's stepson. In 1977, he was 17 years old and now he's 62 years old. What was that? It was uh, seven and a half. <laughs> well, I gotta take a look-see. Hey, I bet you Johnny will dig a man in uniform. <laughs> involved. He just did it. When he was bored, he'd, he'd go in the corner and see him do a little soft shoe or whatever. One of the few people that I've ever met that was completely 100% effort. Ted McGinley in the sitcom he played Roger Phillips, Marion's grandson, coach and teacher at Jefferson High, principal at Patton High. In 1980, he was 22 years old and now he's 64 years old. <laughs> Look, Roach. One of the goals I'm trying to implement here is the OCAEP, or what I like to call the Off-Campus Academic Employment Program. On the beach, and I thought, oh, that's perfect. I would love that. And then he would go into a war movie or whatever. And I thought, okay, that looks like fun. How would somebody do that? I had no idea. Thanks for watching the whole video. If you like this video, please share it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to support us in producing the next videos.